Hello everyone, I am the Ron and Only, and there's nobody I'd rather be. Welcome back to part 17 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Violet for Nintendo Switch. Last time in part 16, we journeyed up from the Clasidio Mountain, uh, the Clasidio Mount, uh, Gym, towards Mount Tanivra? gym and we took on the ghost gym here uh the final uh eighth gym badge I meaning we can now finally take on victory road and the elite four at our leisure uh which is over here uh at the pokemon league and the elite four at our leisure uh did i say that already i think i said that already anyway uh and then we journeyed down to the casserola lake uh which is over here uh, and took on the false dragon titan, which turned out to be a uh, Tatsugiri. So that was pretty cool. Um, now, in this part, we'll be uh, doing a little bit of a kind of... I don't know... I, mm, well, my plan is... I did some, did some small research. So it turns out this guy, the fairy crew base person um ortega um is actually weaker than this guy over here the fighting crew starfall base so i think uh what i'm planning to do is i think what i'm gonna well what i'm going to do is a small part of me wants to go around here and just make sure I've, because I just, just uh, I've been round all the islands of the lake. I've done most of the inside of the lake. I just haven't done this bit, this bit, this bit, um, and I haven't done this bit either. There's loads of loads of terror raid dents over here. Um, so what I want to do is just get to this Pokemon Center, and then I want to do a big loop, go up here, and then just come back, circle back. And do the t uh, the ferry crew base. I was gonna say maybe, maybe we do just because uh, the problem being is gonna be like I, 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 what I wanted to do was go do the ferry crew base and then go immediately into the next area and take on the f and do two two um, starfall things in one go. But I don't know if I'll have time to do to to stuff because i don't think i'll be running into i don't know if i'll be running i don't think i'll be running into any new pokemon um any new pokemon i think i've seen all of them um the pokedex i've caught 305 out of about 348 um uh so i'm yeah i think what i want to do and then I do this bit off screen, but I want to. This is like a new area we haven't been to yet, unless it's like a like a marsh, marshlands. Maybe it's like a forest area type, like this area sort of, or like a. Hmm. Because there's two parts you can go. I just think. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so this is what this is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna journey down here. I'm gonna go down this way to the soccer, the soccer, the soccer trail. I'm gonna get to this island here. I think because I've I've done this bit down here. I'm pretty sure I haven't done this bit. So these these this bit just along here will do, and then we'll go take on the ferry base. Uh, if we have enough time left. Then we'll also try and take on the fighting base. So I think I want to do that in the next, in the next part. I think I want to do that in the next part. So let's for now. We're gonna fly down here to this watchtower that I found uh, in an earlier part. Castle Roller Lake. Here we go. And yeah, we're gonna go down here. And we're just going to head in this direction. Um, in the meantime, off screen, I also evolved these guys. Now, this is the Rabska's the evolution of Relor. 
Bramble Ghast is the evolution of uh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, what was it called? Uh, the the Bramble Pokemon. I can't remember what it's called right now. Okay, jeez. Um, and then we got Pormo, the evolution of Pormo, and Rabsky, the evolution of uh, Relor. And I did that off screen. To do it off screen, you just have to run around with them for two minutes and then evolve them. But if you save and then go back into the file, it doesn't count. You have to do it all over again. So, like I tried, tried, tried to do it in a previous part. Um, but now we have, yeah, we have Rabsky, which is a bug psychic type. Uh, we have Pormot, which is an electric fighting type. Which is adorable. Absolutely love this guy. Great Pokemon. Uh, and then Bramble Gas. Just, just, it's just more Brambles. Just basically, that's all that Pokemon is. Um, I'm going to quickly change my team around because the, the next gym will be Fairy. Um, if we take on the. Uh, when we take on the. The Fairy Team Star guy. Uh, we also have Gold Dengo, of course, because that evolved from. Uh, uh, the, the, what's it called? The, um, what's it called? Uh, Gimmigal. Um, once I got all 900, uh, all 999 coins, uh, and they evolved into a steel ghost type, which looks amazing. Taught some amazing moves. So he's now on the team. Um, and I caught uh, a Dodonzo, which is just a pure water type. But it's a big, big fish guy. So he's going on the team. Um... For a little while. Poor Mott is going to get absolutely destroyed. Um, okay, I think that will do for now. Let's just get exploring uh, this area we've got down here left to explore. Um, I think the team's ready for anything that may come our way. I don't think there any is going to be any new Pokemon for us to fight. There's going to be maybe some Terra Pokemon for us. Um, This awesome wooden bridge over this gigantic waterfall is pretty rigging cool, though. Just careful not to fall off. There's another gimme ghoul. Like we need any more of these guys. Uh, Casarena Falls, one of the ten sites of Paldia. Loads of Pokemon that we've caught before. Whoa, this weird free bridge thing going on. Uh, there's a gimme go up here, though. <laughs> can I get him without falling off? Yeah, I can. Excellent. So I guess you can just keep collecting the coins and then evolve more gimme goals, I guess. Oh, gotta be very. Oh my gosh. So careful. Don't look down. Don't look down! Shrek, I'm looking down! <laughs> and the item is... Thunder! Nice! I could teach that to kill a watcher all. That would be so good. Um, yeah, time's not... Maybe not a good time to stretch, buddy. Phew, made that. Hey, slow pokes and slow bro. Caught you guys. Caught slow bro? Yeah, I have caught slow bro. Excellent. Maybe run into a, a, a shadow Pokemon? Not shadow Pokemon. A um, shiny Pokemon. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, just check what's up here. If we've missed anything, some Hallucha and Low Kicks hanging around. I've caught Hallucha. Uh, Caught a bunch of slow poke. There's some go goats hanging out. Always good to see. There's some trainers. I can fight some trainers. Take a picture of me. For, take a picture for me, would you? I'm about to beat you. It'd be great if you could take a competitive photo for me to when I do. I'm going to take a photo of you regardless, Luna. I can Luna and her Garganackle. Is no match for our gold Dengo. Look how awesome he looks. Uh, all you have to do is literally, when you when you get all those 999 coins, is um, click on it. And... 
and then once you have 999 coins, you click on it and it just says use on Pokemon, uh, use this item, and then you click on uh, Gimmickle and it evolves, which is awesome. And wants to learn Make It Rain. Oh. Make it rain. The user attacks by throwing out of massive coins. This do also use lowers the spe use a special attack stat. Money is earned after the battle. That's great. Uh, let's get rid of metal sound for make it rain. Goldengo's signature move. I love that Pokemon have signature moves now. And also make it rain's a great name for an attack. I don't need a photo to correct losing. Uh, yes, you do. If I press the right button, that's clothing. Let me just, uh, hold on. Uh, and then why? Uh, oh, let me, uh, let's get into, let's get into proper selfie mode. There we go. And, uh... What a loser. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Got a picture of you losing. Uh, loads of Pokemon. Any shinies. Uh, if you spot any in the comments, if you spot any and I don't see any of them, uh, let me know in the comments. Would be much appreciative. Uh, also, if you could get, leave a comment as well, just if you like this video, uh, leave a like as well. And because uh, I much appreciate uh, each and every person that views one of my one of my let's plays, one of my parts, and just you know has either on, and on the background, just something to chill to, or. Or if it helps you actually in the game, that'd be kind of great. Ooh, waterfall, awesome! Another cracked pot for Sinister. Another Raichu. Look at Raichu. Oh, lots of Raichu. Hey, Raichu. That's one of those gate things. I see. Okay. It's only three chains on this one, not four. That's odd. Faint writing is carved into the shrine. Herein lies sealed the ruinous vessel. Hmm. Okay. Maybe if we find more of those sword things that are different colours, one of the... If you... The chain... If you pull it out, it takes off a chain. So there's four chains for each of these sealed things that we've come across in our game. So maybe I have to go back and find those sealed doors and maybe they'll open. And we'll see a ruinous Pokemon, whatever a ruinous Pokemon is. Is, is that a... Is that a Dragonite? That's a Dragonite. That's just a Dragonite just walking around. That's level 60. Uh, I need to catch you. Hey, buddy! You're just you're just wandering around, level sixty. Uh, okay, quick ball, let's go. A man can dream. No, definitely not. Okay, goes for rain dance. That's foreboding. Uh, okay, Gigaton Hammer. Let's see what you do. At least half. That's good. Dragon Rush. Doesn't affect me, which is great by me. Metal Claw. That's fine. That's fine. Outrage, again, does not affect me, buddy. I'm pure... Well, very steel. Okay, one more Metal Claw. As long as it's not a crit, we're good. It's going to avoid the attack. That's perfectly fine. Safeguard. Forget what that does. One Metal Claw. Not crit. That's fine. That's excellent. You keep doing rain dance. For some reason, Dragon Knight. Okay. Uh, even though the rain just stopped. Brilliant. Uh, Ultra Ball. Let's go. Nope. Okay. Okay. That's fine. You're just going to keep doing your rain dance, buddy. 
That's adorable. Uh, time ball. Let's go. No. Okay. Still can't not do any damage to me whatsoever, which is great. I just don't want the fact that he has rain dots. Does he also have thunder? No, he does not. Dragon Knight was cool. Excellent. I don't know why I said no like that. Like, no! Oh, I wonder where I was then. Uh, but I'm back here. Okay, so after a, a whole lot of nothing happened off screen, uh, after going round uh, this area, basically, um, yeah, not a whole lot happened. Nothing new, just exploring all these little islands. There's a tower over here. Um, went for an interesting area over here, but yeah, and then went along here for another tower um, as well. Uh, the Gracia Stones is there as well. Um, yeah, not a lot happened. So what we're going to do, what we should have done, is head up this way and head to the Pokemon Center over here and take on the fairy uh, crew base guy over here. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I've teleported back to this snowy cliffs uh, mountainside over here. I'm gonna jump and ride on and get a groove in as we go down here. Down here. Okay. I said there was like, four trainers in this area and I haven't be beaten any of them yet, which is interesting. Oh, speaking of which, there's one. Oh, and okay. Oh, it's um, it's it's Clavel. Not I me, mean, not Clavel. It's uh, <laughs> Clive. Roddy, Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Ronnie. What do you think of Cassiopeia? Uh... I really don't know. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment toward Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation T Starfall. But what could it be? Well, I best get back to catching. Well, be <laughs> best get back to keep watch. Or uh, call for me if you decide to keep taking on the base, okay? Sure, will Clive. Okay, let's. There's a Vespic one over here, and there's a. Oh, it, it, it just did it teleport me. I will return later when it's time for the young master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Uh, yes, Mr. Harrington. Mm hmm. I wasn't even near, near you guys. You just teleported me over. And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Yeah, young master? Ah, I see. Since you seem un 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 unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew. The Ruck... The Ruck... The Ruck... The Ruck... The Ruck Squad led by young Master Ortego. Um, uh, Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No, then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea as to who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours, you know. I think he might be here to try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I can't. I take it you're an adversary of the young master. Uh, <laughs> uh I guess that follows. Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind to indulge me in a quick battle? Sure, why not? Spend it, then let us begin. Pokemon trainer, Mr. Harrington. Starts off by sending out more Grim, dark and fairy type. We will send out Clodzire. Who's going to completely wreck you. Uh, poison jab, let's go. More Grim starts off with Dark Pole. It's not going to do that much damage. Look at, look at our HP compared to... And levels compared to that goes more grim and there goes the frames oh my god uh hat rim psychic fairy we'll keep come pokemon out uh, yeah, uh, just poison jab it'll be fine psychic did a little bit more damage, but we're still hung in there. Clodside's got this. Into yellow. Yeah, we got this.
Mr. Harrington got a bop of a song, though, I have to admit. And a crit. <laughs> Good job, Clodsire. It was totally not needed, but why not? And some of the game grew to some level. Well, well. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Otago's battle's prowess far surpasses my poultry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you excuse me. Hasta la vista! That judge me guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least, that's what I heard. Now he's like, tutoring the boss or something? He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta get let everyone know. Hasta la vista! I hate so much with a burning passion that's their stupid catchphrase. ro do 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 I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's very crew, the Ruck Bark Squ the Ruckba Squad. Their boss Ortego is their team leader. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead led from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him, but his weak point is the short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march out of the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's something else, but, but it all the lackeys, you send your way. Yeah, it's just like all the rest, yeah. Just tough it out until Ortego shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to take on, kick off this part of the operation. Time to wipe the Ruckba squad off the map. Test, test, test. Hello. Right. So, let's... Okay, testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. Hello. Right. Just don't want to... I'm keep peeking it for some reason. I don't know why. Right, good job, Clodzire. Let's... Uh, just it keeps telling this game just loves just holding our hand and teleporting us to where we need to be. There's a floet right there, and then there's like uh, some combi. There's a train I haven't battled yet. There's this grassy area I haven't battled, I haven't explored yet. Uh, a Vividion I haven't caught. Have I caught Vividion? Yes. Uh, it makes sense. It's very Pokemon, very based. Golduck. Uh, yeah, let's ring the bell. Ring the bell. Mm -mm. Are you ready to change Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Uh, yes. And there's Golduck, apparently. Golduck's just willing to join us. Beep. Code red, code red. Operation Star for alert. Everyone get into position and defend the boss with all you've got. And rest assured, Intruder will deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. Defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. Alright, here we go. Alright, we totally got this. I'm, not, I'm, I'm only pressing the R button once and sending out two Pokemon at the same time. I'm not even sure if that's a glitch or something's happening here that shouldn't be happening. Very weird. I love this area though, it's really pretty. 
Alright, I think that'll do it. Nice. Our defense is a breach. It's all up to the boss now. Oh my gosh. That's a... Uh, that's a great color. <laughs> boss of Team Stars Fairy Crew, Ortega. Huh? So you're ready? Okay. Talk about under underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Hey! Ouch! Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. Okay, cool skills. Or taker of Team Star. We start off by sending out Mario. Uh, no, Mario. Azumarill. Uh, that, my friends, is... I promise I'll pay nice, so don't blame me when the battle sends you blubbering back home. Uh, a water fairy type, which is not great to our ground... Uh, poison type. But we'll poison jab anyway. Here comes an aqua tail. Wow. Okay. Uh, at least poison point kicked in, so that's great. Oopsie, did you just realise how outmatched you are? If you want to give up, now's the time. Into red with one poison jab, though, so that's, you know, equal fair. Oh, and poison just knocked it out, so that's great. Great job, Godzilla. Uh, Wiggly Tough, we will actually switch you out on. But good job, buddy. Uh, let's go Glimora. Because I haven't used you in battle yet, I think. Okay, and your terror type is rocks, and that's not entirely great. Um, let's go mortal spin, why not? And poisoned, nice. Ooh, gyro ball, interesting. Not very effective. Toxic debris and the spikes, that's brilliant. Glimor is so good. Oh my gosh. So now whatever switches in, it's gonna have be poisoned. Okay, sludge wave, let's finish it off. Nice. Okay. Uh Dash Bun? No. Keep coming, Pokemon. We got this. And immediately poisoned. Great. Uh, another sludge wave. Let's go. Goes for a mud slap. Lowers my accuracy, which is not fun. Sludge wave hits anyway. One hit KO. Awesome source. Oh god, I said awesome source. That's been a long time since I said that word. Right, and next is Reverum, which is normally steel poison? What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? So not fair. We're going to terrestrialize it into a fairy type. Misty Surge. Level 50, though. Oh, okay. Just, uh, not, apparently. Um, I think Terrestrializing is probably a bad idea. We'll just do Sludge Wave and see what happens. Steel Rollers can definitely hurt, though. Ow. Yeah, still got Steel type moves, though. So that's not great. Toxic Debris. Yep. Awesome. Misty Appear from Battlefield. Interesting. Sludge wave mist, though. Get a little HP back with the black sludge, which is a lovely little um, item. Um, let's go instead. You know what? Reverum versus Reverum. Let's go. Goes for Confuse Ray. Interesting tactics. Okay. 
hopefully we should be able to power on through with it. Uh, let's go Poison Jab. Magical Talk. Okay, that's the fairy version of that move. Okay. Red Room is confused. Don't hit yourself, buddy. You do hit yourself, buddy. All right, another Poison Jab. Let's gonna go for, keep going for Magical Talk. Let's power on through. Come on. Stop being confused. There we go. And me ah, down to half, so that's brilliant. Just one more attack. Speed harshly fell. And we've got a power on through. Come on. Don't be confused. Yeah, awesome. And down goes the Ruckbus Starmobile. Oh, really? I survived on that? How much HP? Come on, man. Reverend sat out of confusion. Let's finish it off. Poison jab. Let's go. And you defeated Octagra of Team Star. Woohoo! Good job, buddy. Ugh, how can I lose? What the heck? Sorry, that was more of a... Ugh, how can I lose? What the heck? Ugh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Stubmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem is clear that you're not giving it enough juice. You designed the thing to be powered by two charcadet, but it's just too heavy. It was such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry. I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. This is n tis no occasion for m melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by th thine own hand. Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew that all that effort would have zero payout, I'd just have mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? <laughs> what? Mela, call it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in our code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If you're short on juice, just make, just crank, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough for you to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm gonna train up my Charcadet and have, an, have him evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Star Mobile moving, no sweat. But the hour of Operation Team Star is at, uh, of Operation. Uh, but the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait. You know, Mella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. Gur, this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that you were in that battle. And if any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Gah, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway. So take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Team Star's very crew defeated. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam, awesome, a great fairy move. And just so you know, you are the worst, like the most annoying person ever. But I get it, you're super strong, I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington, I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all going uh, good to head on home. Ah, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like, like, like there's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to the major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer's the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the academy really did use to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the butter bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington? About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. 
and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto among proportions, of unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had per perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy, one after another. But, but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of, of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? Huh? No, no one told me that! I accepted the request and agreed not to take a disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad? This is not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy's servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible! After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as a director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decide to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Power of Friendship. Ronnie, it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then. Yep. I see. With its boss no longer around, the Ruckback squad is good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation has been a huge success thanks to you, Ronnie. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that you're... That your acquaintances have you known each other long uh no not all that long well he's clearly a reliable friend he almost reminds me of the game back in the day uh back in what day uh as you know team star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school shortly after forming the team these students none other than the squad bosses themselves confronted the bullies head on the outcome was a resounding victory for team star though you could hardly call it a contest the bullies didn't even put up a fight they all bolted from battle the first chance they got scared spitless of team star the bullies then dropped out of school one after another and team star ended up the villains of the story but that's neither heel nor there forget i mentioned it now about your reward i'll transfer some lp over to your phone as promised You've earned 10,000 LP. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. It's Penny again. Um, here I am. Adios. Qua, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Sniff, 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 sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. <laughs> no. Nah. Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the police to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot, creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. You... I don't know about that. I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. <laughs> Thanks for the materials. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Ronnie.
Good job, team. Let's heal you all up. And um, next, we should be heading off to this final area where the last Team Star Bay base is. Uh, looks like it's going to take me another long while to get there. I think we'll save that for the next part. Um, I think for this part, we'll just finish up in exploring these areas of uh, the map we haven't actually uh, explored yet. There's this bit of the ton, the, the ice up here to explore. There's all the hills surrounding beach around this area and up here. So what I'll do is uh, off screen... Well, on, uh, on screen, I'll record what's going on. If anything awesome happens along uh, the way, we run into any uh, awesome Pokemon I haven't caught yet or whatever, uh, I'll put it on screen. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll catch you all up. Uh, I think we'll set off on our next bit of the journey from this area down here. We'll go down here to get to... The fighting gym, the fighting team starbase over here. I think we'll do, or we can go. Well, well, now we can actually go up here as well. There's a Pokemon Center right there, so maybe we go to this area next and go up this area. It's probably a good idea. Uh, but we'll do that in the next part, um, and we'll cut this part uh, short um, because there's not really much to do besides going do some stuff off screen and just have a look in the area. Of anything I missed in this part of the map um, and sign off here in front of the Team Star Fairy base where there's a... oh Blissey, oh, okay that's cute, that's adorable um, so yeah and there's a lighthouse we could probably go to as well which would be kind of cool um, right so here in the middle of the Team Star Fairy base we'll end this part here uh, in this part, we journeyed uh, around Casarola Lake, just looking for anything we might have missed, um, seeing what would be any new if there's any new Pokemon in this area, um, and also journeying north from uh, Glacier Mountain up down to the North Province Area Three, and finally taking took on the Team Star Fairy Base, where we learned that yeah, just the the whole faculty system completely messed up with Team Star. Team Star weren't originally the bad guys; they were trying to get out the bullies, the ones that were actually were in the wrong. But as soon as they were ousted out and the bullies left, uh, Team Star were made to be the villains. So obviously, you know, it's not all black and white. Team Star weren't aren't actually the real bad guys, but their actions do need to be stopped. So that's what we'll be doing next time in the next part. We'll be taking on the next and final Team Star base. But for now, I have been the Ron Lonely, and there's no boy I'd rather be, and you've been watching part 17 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Violet for Nintendo Switch. Don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time, trainers.